M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I did a video earlier about this software which looks fantastic. So I thought I'd have a go at downloading it. Now I've got a couple of different cables for this. I've got one that goes into the serial connection here, which you will see, I've got a rear view of it. Where is it? There, which goes where it says cat. And I also got this data connection here, which is a six pin Yesu uh, type connection. The other cable looks like this. So this is the six pin data one. Back to the cat. Now I've tried them both with similar results. The problem I'm getting is I've got the Yesu website as well here, files. I've downloaded drivers for USB. So if I try and fire this up, so we click here for the download. Click there, the 64 bit. We download it and we get these files here. These are the files we get. Then what I do is I double click the one that says run. Okay. And you get this window up here, which is pretty good. So we're, we're getting there. Now the cable, at the moment I've got the cat cable in with the six pins, but I've tried the, the serial one as well. So you right click device manager. And when I put in the cat cable, I do come up with the drivers the Silicon Lab drivers, that's the Yesu type drivers. If I plug in the other one, the serial port cable, it's, it's different, but it does detect. So we've, we know we can see there that it was serial port eight. Okay, eight, that's fine. Then we go here to this software. We put in file, we click file, and we click download radio configuration. We put in our brand, which is Yesu. Then our model, which I'm on the 450. And look at the other ones it does while we're here, because I've got the 817. So that's, that's the only other one I've got, but that, let's have a look. Yeah, look, it does do the FTDX10. I wonder if it will do the 101, because that's the one I've got, but the DX10's on here, 991, all common, you know, popular radios. Anyway, so um, we choose for the 450, which is what I'm on now, download. And it says I've already done it, and I'll put yes, and it downloads it into the system. Oh, did I select the wrong one? Because just now it said it did work. Um, config not yet available. Let's do that again. Just now it worked. Download radio config. Uh, Yesu. 450 download ah yes okay so that it worked that time Look, file successfully downloaded downloaded then we go cat serial port we're using cat and it actually says cat which is the round cable board rate i've set in the radio that's 38400 maybe that's wrong but the board rate you just hold down the f and you've got cat rate and when you press Look, 38400. Now, maybe there's another setting there for board rate. Let's just show you that anyway. There's cat timeout 10, cat RTS enable. Now, is there a board rate? Another one for board rate? I'm not seeing one. I'm just looking through. I can't see another one, so tuck come out of that just by pressing, holding down the F. Radio's on, connected by cable. So then, PTT serial port. Well, yeah, I'll use COM8 so I can see how it would use that. And in this section, sound driver. Well, I'm not getting many choices. I'm getting the, the monitor in this shack, my headphones plugged into my PC. PC speakers, I'm not getting anything else. Uh, so I'm just going to put none for now. Same again, I'm not getting anything else. Like on the uh, instructions that I've read, it does show in the configuration. If we go to the right one, which is here by JA. EC5, scroll down, 
he's got his showing where he configures it so of course the link for this will be in the description you've got client mode so you can do this via IP server mode there look like so go back this is direct control which is what I think I was trying to do and look his one is showing FT450 codec I'm not getting that I'm getting the comms everything else cat you can see cat RTS so I, this is the bit I'm not getting the, the codec one there so let's go back to the firing it up again go back to the software we've loaded it mode I could try server but I, I'm in direct control mode here TX we're just going to put none for now and then go start and it does go to this page and it says 450 at direct mode at the top I hit connect the radio does start to make lots of noises but no frequency showing if I push anything it, you know things are happening but I'm not seeing anything change on the actual radio it's not PTTing although it's you know I'm pushing that band the bands are not changing so I, I'm close um, but it's not quite working file you can download radio config we've done that stream start recording etc you can do the tuner so it's not a go for me at the moment someone tell me what I'm doing wrong I'm not using the right cable I'm using the cable I'm on right now is the round six pin one from Yesu. So I've got the actual Bluetooth adapter for that one. I could do it via Bluetooth. I need to need a bit more help on this uh, to get this working. But thanks very much. All links in description. And you can see I've used Pocket Pocket RXTX before and I did manage to get that working. Thanks for the thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now, 73.